one of the first movies to discuss being trans and the first big one to have an impact on the mass is Psycho. So let's talk about that. So the film starts off with Miriam and Sam in bed together. Consenting adults? Sleeping together? How scandalous! And Miriam's father is super wealthy because, in his own words, he doesn't report his taxes to the IRS. Didn't he learn anything from Rockwell? And then Miriam says she has a headache and needs to go home. But she says she's planning to spend all weekend in bed. Um, Miriam? I, I, that's not a headache. That sounds like depression. And then she goes on a road trip to transport $40,000, which, for reference, is about $400,000 today. And she handles this conversation with the cop like a pro, as you should. It's like you're all night. Yes. As I said, I couldn't keep my eyes open. There are plenty of motels in this area. You should have... I mean, just to be safe. I didn't intend to sleep all night. I just pulled over. Have I broken any laws? No, ma'am. Then I'm free to go. I watch too much TikTok, and she feels followed. She always feels like someone's watching her, and she's got no privacy. And then there's this car salesman she meets up because she needs a new car fast. And it turns out this car salesman breaks a whole lot of stereotypes. Most notably, he's against rushing a sale, which, if you know anything about car salesmen, this goes completely against all stereotypes you've been taught. And then she checks into the Bates Hotel run by Norman Bates, coincidentally enough. No relation to the name on the hotel. And he claims his mother's not feeling well, which is why he takes care of her in that abandoned house. Which is coincidentally looks a whole lot like the one they did on The Simpsons. And that his father died at the age of five. And then later in the film, he kills her in the shower. Now you've probably seen the shower scene. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you've probably seen the shower scene. Now I can't show it here. If I were to show the clip on my own, providing enough context for it of course, I can't show that because YouTube is very strict about violence. Even fictional kind. And plus I don't know if I get struck for nudity as well. And also, if I were to show the clip with sound, the music would likely get copyright even though it is iconic music, which should be in the f public domain right now. God, I blame Sonny Mouse for this. Because for those who are unaware, copyright, in the United States at least, lasts for 95 years after publication. This film isn't entering the public domain until at least 2055, which, I'm on. Yes, and it was in part due to Mickey Mouse and the guy Cher sang I Got You Babe with. Yes, that guy. He was a congressman, and he did this a whole new meaning to I got you babe, right? Anyway, rant about the copyright system aside, Norman Bates puts her body in the car and drives the car into the lake. Smart plan, huh? And people only notice that Miriam's gone after she hasn't delivered 40 grand yet. Go looking for her and go to the Bates Motel to figure all this out. And when Bates gets interrogated by the police, he honestly should start doing the fourth or the fifth, because come on. And they reveal, surprise, surprise, Norman's mother's actually been dead, and he tries going on a killing spree. And then there's a whole bit at the end where, like, the psychiatrist out of the monologue and explains that it was Norman's other half. So Norman, it, by definition, is not a trans woman, even though a lot of people tend to associate with that. I'm not a psychiatrist, so I'm not going to opine on that. But this is definitely not a case of being trans, but it is still transphobic because society doesn't know the difference between a man in a dress and a trans woman. Different things going on there, but society doesn't understand the difference. And that's why it's transphobic that people tend to think that trans people are violent because of this, which is You know who is most likely to be an instigator of violence, at least in the United States? Cis white men. That's right, cis white men are the most violent people in this country, but no one tries to go after them, do they? And I also want to point this out here that they say transvestites are people who have a fetish. That's not strictly the case. Yes, they do exist, and if that's your thing, and you're doing it on your own, go for it. But my point here is, that's not entirely the case. People wear whatever they want for whatever reasons they want. It's not always a sexual. If you enjoyed this video, you can sign up for my Patreon and see this video uncut. Plans start as low as $3 a month. But if you can't afford that, at least give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.